Well, welcome or welcome back to Solo Marvel Champion. At the end of yesterday's video, I said I had 20 heroes I still wanted to play on the channel. So I was going to try to work through those. However, I had so much fun playing Nebula against Thanos that I wanted to play her again. Today's video does get one of the villains I haven't had on the channel yet, Ebony Maw. And I am playing this in Expert to get up to my count of 25. I'm sitting at 16, this will get me to 17. Shuffle and do the win revealed here. Discard until I get a spell and put it into play. And then I'll shuffle this deck. This has two, and these get shuffled back in. Then we're going to do the revealed effect on Ebony Maw, stage two. We're going to do that again, but we don't get to shuffle. So whatever gets discarded here is just going to go away and make the deck smaller. Advanced leaving is fine. And a fireball. Losing a guard is not bad, and losing channeling trance is really not bad either. So I'm fine with that discard. Let's shuffle me. Stun and Confuse is going to be fantastic in this matchup because Ebony Ma only removes counters when he activates, or rather after he activates. Actually, it is when he activates. So... Really want to see if I can get an evasive maneuvering here and or Gamora and or um, Intent. I can't remember the name of the card. Nowhere good and a double is good. Lethal Intent is the name of that card. Cutthroat Ambition is okay and I will keep it because uh, if I don't draw what I need, I can at least use that to draw two cards. I didn't get an ally, so welcome aboard isn't great, but I will keep it to help pay for this. Let's just mulligan, ready for action. Draw one. Does that change the math? If I can get rocket in for one, that might change things, but... I don't think it does in this case. Let's use Welcome Aboard for Cutthroat Ambition. It draws me two cards. Now Groot is a different story. Let's pay two for Nowhere. And I don't necessarily need this ability right now. So let's flip up. I might go ahead and use all three of those for Groot. We are each going to attack for two. Then I'm going to hope for a low boost card. Actually, since I don't have a tough on him, I'm not going to attack with him. I'm just going to let him take the block. But I do get to draw a card. I could deal five more damage, attack for two, and throw Groot, but I am going to use him for the block here. It's just ready. One, two, three. There's an evasive maneuvering. Really wish I had a lethal intent now. One goes on the main. Ebony Maw is attacking, and Groot will defend. That's two, three, four, five. He takes five damage, and then he heals two. These tick down one each. Get one encounter card. Surge exhaust. Villain attacks. Two, three, four. I'm just, I, I have to take it. And when that happens, these each go off. Discard a card at random and I'm confused. This will be my evasive maneuvering.
key card, and I just lost it. Two for Maria, who draws me a card. Weapon Master is nice. Oh, this will remove that threat. Really, I'm trying to decide here if I do Build Support or Weapon Master. If I do Weapon Master, it's better to do it in Alter Ego. Just flip down. Build Support for Weapon Master draws me two. Nick and Energy, I'm going to hold on to both of those. One goes on, he is scheming for two, three. That comes off, one encounter card. Prevent two damage, or prevent all damage after two or more is prevented this way from a single attack, discard it. Okay. I think... We'll do one for Unyielding Persistence, which draws me two. One, two, three, four for Nick, who draws me three. There we go. Combat ready lets me shuffle Cutthroat, not Cutthroat, Evasive Maneuvering, and a... I guess a cutthroat back into the deck. I do have plus one ally slot, so... Boy, I can't confuse. So that is going to be painful. So let's recover. Flip up. Maria and Nick are going to remove that threat. Let's do welcome aboard. Playing Drax for only a one. I'll use that wide stance. That draws me a card. Call for backup. I can't clear now because I cleared this. But I am going to go ahead and put call for backup in. Drax will attack for three. That's going to be prevented, and that gets discarded. I think that's it. One goes on the main. He's attacking, and Nick will block. That's two, three. Nick is gone. This counts down to zero and hits me for four. Get one encounter card. Rubble Storm surges. Each minion attacks. Um, each player who's not engaged with a minion searches for a Black Order minion. Now, I don't want to guard. One random card from hand could be painful. 
But I might have to take that chance. I don't want Super Giant. I don't want any of these real big ones. I think we just get a Black Order Infantry. It has guard, and when it's defeated, I put a tough on Ebony Maw. So, now these are going to pop. I get a tough. This deals four. I'm going to attack, or rather, I'm going to thwart to knock off my Confuse. Maria will take two of this and go away. Groot will take one of it. But before he does, I'm going to use that go down swinging to play a weapon master. Then, oh. oh, I wish he had piercing. Then, I also wish I had one more resource. Then let's see. Drax is going to attack and knock off the tough. Then Groot is going to clear call for backup. That goes to victory. We grab Gamora. Put her into play. Let's use, oh, that draws me a card. No, I didn't play a Guardian Ally, so that doesn't draw me a card. Let's use Ironheart for Daughter of Thanos. I draw three cards. Choose Innovation, which heals him one for a Lethal Intent, dealing four. Gamora attacks for two. And I'm going to use Martin X to put a Tough on Groot. There's Evasive Maneuvering. Come on, give me a double as well. One goes on the main. He's attacking and Groot will block. It's two, three, four. Knocks off his tough, heals him two. This counts down. One encounter card. He attacks, which I'm actually kind of fine with. Let's see, this is going to count out, so I'm going to lose Drax and Gamora anyway. Drax is going to block this one. Two, three, four. Drax is gone. Rubble Storm pops off and deals two damage to each character I control. One hits my tough. Two here, two here, knocks out Gamora. The beginning of the turn... This pops and does that. Okay, I think I 
I do two for major victory. That's a guardian, so it draws me a card. Not what I needed to do. I'm going to thwart two here. Flip down. I'm going to use that welcome aboard for evasive maneuvering, which draws me two cards. And while I'd like to get that Nebula's ship down, I'm going to set up for the future and put another tough on Groot. That's ready, and I'm going to hold the ship. Now I can pay for that. Lethal intent means I'm going to be able to do that. As long as he doesn't scheme out here. One goes on, scheming for two, three, four. That goes up to five. I have two. Are they both going to be advances? Is one of them going to be an advance? Discard an upgrade or support I control. I've got to do this because I need that evasive maneuvering. This surges. Discard a card at random from my hand. Well, that's going to mess up my ship play, I'm sure. Yep. And I can still get the ship in and lethal intent with the ship's resource. So, I think I need to, well, I need to recover, but I need to clear some of that threat as well. So, I'm not going to recover. I'm just going to flip up. Take two off of here. Major Victory can take another one off of here. I'm going to use Welcome Aboard and Nebula's Ship, or and Lethal Intent to play Nebula's Ship. Then I'm going to play Lethal Intent for one to do this special, which is Stun. Let's ready. Come on, give me a good ally. Might have to go back down. One goes on. He cannot stun. He cannot stun. He cannot attack. Outrider attacks. And I really want to use that to soak a big attack. Just going to let that one hit me. One encounter card. Discard a card at random. One of my weapon masters. Okay. This pops and I'm going to confuse. I'm going to use Nebula's ship to play this because that gives me plus one thwart. So I can clear that. Let's flip down. Actually, before I flip down, let's attack with major victory uh, here. That defeats Major Victory, which readies me. And I'm going to attack for three here. Then I'm going to flip down. I'm going to use Welcome Aboard to play a Weapon Master, which draws me two. Wide Stance isn't fantastic. But I want to hold on to that lethal intent. So let's just ready. Well, I do want to hold on to that so that I have one to play. So let's draw three. 
And I do end up getting a couple more. One goes on, he cannot scheme, these each scheme. One encounter card, he schemes. Two, three, that's exactly what he needs. So then I discard until I get another spell and this counts down one. Rubble Storm comes in. All right. Do I bother recovering? I've got a rubble storm coming up. Do that for Cutthroat Ambition, which draws me two. Let's go ahead and recover. I think I need it. Don't need Maria. Martin X only cost me two because I'm a guardian. He attacks and knocks out this Outrider. See, if I knock him out now, he gets another spell. And I'm not able to stun. Let's do those three for Rocket. Rocket attacks this minion, getting plus three. So that's two and two. Just card a card at random, and I'm confused. So I'm gonna get rid of this and ready. Combat ready. I'm gonna have to go back down to take advantage to get uh, maneuvering back out. One goes on, he's attacking, and a group blocks. It's two, three, four, it just hits his tough. And he heals too. This counts down. This counts down. Discard a card at random, and I'm confused. Oh, there's Ironheart. I really wanted Ironheart. One encounter card. This surges. Remove one from everything. Rubble Storm deals th two damage to every character. If he goes back up to three, he's at three, he's at three, and gets knocked out. And I get that. All right, at the beginning of my turn, remove the threat. Deal four, which is unfortunate. So he comes back with 18 health. And I discard until I get another spell. This one gives me a tough. Okay, no threat. I'm not going to get the confuse, which I think I'm fine with. Let's do combat ready. Put a Weapon Master and Evasive Maneuvering back into the deck. Oh, I can't do that yet. I'm going to keep those on top. I'm going to use... Let's use Go Down Swinging. We're ready for action to put a tough on Groot. I'm going to flip down. And I'm going to recover. I'm 
Now we're going to use Combat Ready to shuffle these two in. I'm going to play Cutthroat Ambition to draw two. And... Let's just let him attack for one. Well, that's killing my OCD there. I'm gonna get rid of that and let's ready. One more, I don't know why I've been doing that lately. One goes on, he's scheming for three and only three. In each of these count down. One encounter card. When revealed, either take two damage or place two threat on here. Uh, I'm gonna take the two damage. I think I can win before that fireball goes off. I think I can, I think I can. Let's do... I do both. He comes in, draws me cards. I also get to play Gamora. So let's do one, two. Oh, I really need that combat ready, though. Combat ready is going to go put another weapons master. And let's do that one. Back in the deck. Now, do I want to stay down here to play Nick? One, two, I can't. I have to do it up to get best benefit there. So let's flip up. I'm going to exhaust to get rid of my confuse. Welcome aboard, pay two for Nick who draws me three. Hmm, go down swinging with Nick is awesome. Let's do one, two, which heals him one, three for Gamora. She's going to do this and remove three threat from a scheme. Nick attacks for two, and Gamora attacks for two. Let's use Go Down Swinging to pay, play Daughters of Thanos. Draw three more. Ah, uh, both Weapon Masters, but I can only play one of them. Drax for a Weapon Master. One, two. Three, four. One goes on the main. He is attacking. And let's just have Nick block. That's two, three, four. Nick is gone. These count down one each. I get two encounter cards. Um, and this actually might be a really good time for master plan. There are no schemes. I discard until I get a side scheme. Oh, and of course there's one left in there. Take two damage or place two threat here. I'm going to take that two damage on my tough. And then one more encounter card. This surges. 
Uh, attach to the friendly character with the highest attack and exhaust it. Um, attached character cannot ready, but I can get, get rid of this. Oh, that's that's no fun. Now let's just do Gamora. Okay, beginning of my turn. Weapon Master deals four. Cutthroat removes three. So I do have unyielding. Oh, I need to hold on to that too, I think. That for un yielding so that now I can thwart for three. Nebulous ship for evasive maneuvering. And I've got a problem. I'm going to take four here. Do I just go down and hope he can't scheme out? Flip down, use major victory for weapons master, which draws me two. Oh, that's going to be good for Gamora since I can't use her anyway. That's ready. Two goes on the main. He's scheming for three and only three. This goes to seven of nine. This pops, exhaust each upgrade I control, which doesn't really matter. So I'm not going to bother with that. But me being stunned does matter. This one deals four damage to me. And this one just clicks down. One encounter card surges. Quick strike. All right, how much damage can I do this turn? I can't draw anything while I'm down here, so let's flip up. I'm still thwarting for three. Let's do welcome aboard Martinex for Drax, who is going to attack for three. We're going to go down swinging, discard Gamora to deal three. And I'm going to hold on to that double. This is going to be a problem. This Weapons Master isn't going to pop off. It's just going to clear my stun. That was dumb. But I needed to clear that threat, so it's okay. Two goes on. This goes up to six of nine. He's attacking and group will block. That's two, three, four, five. Knocks off his tough and heals two. Super Giant attacks for two, and I'm just going to defend for two. One encounter card. Landing craft when a win defeated. At the beginning of my turn, this just clears my stun. This stuns Ebony Maw. This gives me a tough. I need two more damage, which I'm not going to get. Choose Innovation to play Cutthroat. This is going to... This is going to go if I don't do anything about it. Tracks. It's going to attack for three.
Go down swinging. I'm going to throw Drax for three more. And I'm going to use Nebulous Ship to play a Lethal Intent, choosing this special. Remove three from here. Let's ready. Three is going to go on, back up to six. He cannot attack. Um, she's going to attack for two. That just knocks off my tough. And I don't get stunned because did not damage me. One encounter card. Place four on each side scheme. It's fine. That's 100% fine. This... Takes three off of here. Uh, is there anything fun I can do? Don't really need to do anything fun. I'm just going to attack for two and defeat Ebony Maw. It's a longer game than I like to play, but um, it's still fun. These, these spells are tough, especially when they surge, when they are revealed. Uh, you really need a good stun lock against Ebony Maul. I wasn't able to do it, but I was able to stun him uh, a few times, which really came in handy. So that answers the question in my thumbnail. Technique or spell, which prevails? In this case, the techniques prevailed. Thank you for watching, and I hope you have a marvelous day.